Hello, everyone. Welcome back to iNews You, your go-to source for breaking news. Today, we've got a crucial update on the latest coronavirus variant that's making headlines. I'm John Abraham, and let's dive into the details. Our top story today revolves around the JN.1 variant, the newest player in the COVID-19 saga. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, this variant is rapidly becoming the dominant version of the virus, accounting for a staggering 44% of COVID cases in the U.S. within just four weeks. Now, you might be wondering, is this variant more severe? Well, the good news is that, as of now, it doesn't seem to be. Dr. Mandy Cohen, the CDC director, has mentioned that while JN.1 is more transmissible, there's no increase in the severity of the illness it causes. But it's not just the US, JN.1 is making waves globally. It accounted for 27% of genetic sequences submitted to the Global Virus Database, just said, in early December. The World Health Organization, who has even designated it a variant of interest, signaling that it's driving new cases and carries genetic changes that could impact its spread and immunity evasion. So, what does this mean for you? Let's break down the key points. Despite its increased transmissibility, JN.1 doesn't seem to be causing more severe symptoms. Reports suggest that the symptoms are similar to earlier COVID cases, with sore throats and congestion being commonly reported. Notably, the dry cough and loss of taste or smell, which were once hallmarks of the virus, are becoming less common. Dr. Molly Fleece, a hospital epidemiologist, emphasizes the concern, especially during the holiday season, with JN.1's ease of transmission. It's crucial to stay vigilant. The WHO has issued a warning that JN.1 could lead to an uptick in COVID cases this winter, increasing the burden of respiratory infections globally. The variant, a descendant of Omicron, has a parent lineage called BA.2.86 with numerous mutations, allowing it to sidestep existing immunity. But here's the silver lining. Current vaccines, particularly the updated mRNA shots from Moderna and Pfizer, appear effective against JN.1. A preprint study suggests that these shots boost antibody protection against the variant, even up to 13 times, depending on a person's vaccination and infection history. Here's the catch. Only a small percentage of adults and children have received the new COVID vaccine since it became available in September. Dr. Mandy Cohen urges everyone to stay up to date on their shots to align with the changes in the virus. It's a constant cat and mouse game with COVID. As Dr. David Ho from Columbia University puts it, we're chasing it the best we can, but we're always a little behind. And there you have it, the latest on the JN.1 variant. Remember, knowledge is our best defense against the virus. Stay informed, stay safe, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. I'm John Abraham, signing off for my news you. Until next time, take care.